Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I've just posted a video showing you how you can try out and test a Linux distribution from directly within your web browser without actually having to download Linux. And that video will be linked down below and in the end screen. Now in this video, we're going to have a quick look at how you can launch your Windows settings from directly within your web browser without leaving your web browser. And you can actually do this in any web browser, but for today's video, I'm just going to demonstrate using Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and Mozilla Firefox. Now, you could be asking, why would you want to do this? And a simple example could be you just are maybe busy within your web browser. You don't want to actually leave your browsing session, or maybe you don't want to just try this out for the pure, simple fun of it. Now, how we would do this starting in Google Chrome, if we head up to our Omnibox and our address bar, you would enter all in smalls, ms, hyphen, settings, colon. And by the way, I'll leave this little command down below in the description if you'd like to copy and paste. So ms, hyphen, settings, colon, hit enter. It'll ask you, a website wants to open this application, open settings, and there we go. There are my Windows settings, and this works for both Windows 10 and Windows 11, by the way. So that's in Google Chrome, and if we head over to Microsoft Edge, I've already typed it in, MS Settings, MS hyphen Settings colon, and if we just click on that and hit enter, it says in Microsoft Edge, a website wants to open this application, open, and there we go, so you get the idea, that's using that in Microsoft Edge, and last but not least, Mozilla Firefox, the same applies, MS hyphen Settings colon, and let's just click on that. Open the MS settings link with settings. It's a little bit different, the dialogue in um, Mozilla Firefox. Open link, and there we go. So you get the idea, and that's opening settings directly from those web browsers. And as mentioned, that will work in any web browser. So I thought that was interesting, and just wanted to put it out there in case you would be interested. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.